Hello everybody, uh, it's Dr. Rick here. As you can see, I got my ace with me, the Samaj, Samaj Prince. Uh, the youngest of the grandkids, three years old, extremely bossy. And uh, he decided that he did not want to spend the holiday in the house so we got to just go on a trip somewhere i don't know where but he had to get out the house so i think i'm gonna take him and get him some ice cream most of y'all if y'all been around when i was doing uh much more of my work at home y'all got to see him because he would crash my sessions in a heartbeat and one of the reasons i had to go back to the uh off-site office uh is because he had gotten old enough to where he was just crashing everything and I couldn't really work with my clients uh, the way that I wanted to. But anyway, uh, enough about that. Uh, this is gonna be real brief. Uh, I just wanna take some time out and uh, pay tribute to King Darren Sills, uh, a brother that was real to the cause, uh, was a representation and proof of where you can come from and where you can go and the impact that you can have in a very short period of time. Um, you know, having been connected in a, a few ways to the whole thing in Ferguson, uh, that young kid stole my heart because of his passion and, and his unwillingness to move toward mainstream even though it was money there even though it was fame there even though that's what everything was coming he 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 didn't want to have anything to do with blm he didn't want to have anything to do with black lives matter he was calling them out every chance he got and it cost him his life let's just be real about it um it cost him his life and he died for what he believed in uh, I believe it was Dr. King that says a man that, that doesn't have anything for which he is willing to die is not fit to live. So by that definition, Darren uh, Seals was definitely fit to live. Um, you know, if you know his life story, and I'm not here to talk about his life story, but if you know his life story, to come from what he came from uh, and do what he did is exceptional and, and, it, and it's the proof that your life has meaning and you can choose to make that move anytime you get and the fact that he loved his people in his in this place enough to go all out for it is huge uh i'm uh i'm i'm, I'm connected to somebody who was very close to darren um and i know she's going through it right now neota uh my heart is always with you um somebody that fights and speaks truth unapologetically as well. Uh, those are the ones we need. Those are the ones we need to stand up for. But what I want to talk about real briefly here. Hey, man, you okay back there? Uh, what I want to talk about real briefly here is the fact that we still don't have. Uh, we still have an open case. We don't. The murder hasn't been solved. The investigation is is actually not even active. It hasn't been reopened. Wesley Bell promised he was going to do it. He hasn't do, done it. Nobody's applied any type of pressure for it to be done, um, and that's because of all the uh, things that will be revealed within that investigation. Just how dirty it was, uh, where the bodies are buried, where the money is hidden. All kind of stuff is going to come out when we start talking about who killed Darren Seals. Because, see, then you get off into motive. You get off into why was Darren Seals killed. He wasn't killed because he was hurting somebody's feelings because he was talking about Black Lives Matter. He was, he was killed because of the depth of what was going on with Black Lives Matter, the amount of money that was funneling through, the amount of people who was grifting off of it, the amount of people who was building, literally building their careers off of it, and him exposing it was putting it at risk. Let's just keep it real and let's call it what it is. And so with that being said, you know, speak power, you know, because it, I, I mean, he spoke power, let's put it that way. It's a lot of people talking it's a lot of people saying things. It's some people doing some stuff. But it's a whole nother level. It's a whole nother level. I'm pretty sure that's not grammatically correct, but really don't care. But it's a whole nother level when you put your life on the line. When you know 
that what you're doing has put you in the crosshairs of people who have no problem taking you out. And yet you stand on what you believe in. Yet you stand on your conviction. That is the type of brothers we need right now in the fight. We don't need to be turning in on one, turning it inward on one another. We don't need to be taking aim at one another. We need to be standing strong in our conviction and speaking truth to power and taking action and calling a spade a spade. And somebody asked me, well, what happens when something like this happens? How do you uh, support the legacy of a person like this who had a very short period of time on earth and, you know, made an impact, but he's gone now. You live your life in the manner that is respectful. If you actually care about who Darren Seals was, we, we normally don't. He was just another character in a play to most people. But for somebody like me, who's in the fight and knows what the fight can do to you, to see that makes me square my shoulder. So as far as how I pay tribute to him, how I'm going to ensure that he lives on is that I'm going to carry on his boldness. I'm going to carry on his persistence and his consistency. I'm going to carry on his, his, his dogmatic approach to being pro-black. That's what I'm going to carry on. That's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm going to challenge you guys. Look, whatever is going on, no matter what's happening, uh, show some love, Show some like, share your, if you ever came in contact with him, whether it was a video, whether it was actually being at the protest, whether it was a phone conversation, no matter what, if you, you saw a post he made and it, it, and it moved you and it made you think and it made you uh, re, re, recalibrate or reevaluate, post your comments in the comment field. Show your love for somebody who showed their love for you. On that note, I'm getting ready to get out of here. And you guys have an unbelievable uh, day. Samaj, you ready to get out of here? Yeah. You want to say bye to the people? Lean over and wave at them. Bye. They, are, bye. they can't see you over there. Lean, lean with your other hand. Never mind. He's trying. There you go. All right. I'm out. Bye.